Hi, this is Hudson from CSSCast.com, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make your navigation horizontal using just CSS. I saw this message on a couple of forums, so I thought I'd make it a tutorial and make it easy and simple and straightforward. So let's start with our basic HTML file that I have opened up here. As you can see, it's very plain with the title tag. I got my heading here, first navigation, and let's make our links. So for to make our links, I'm going to use an unordered list. Uh, it opens up with a UL tag and closes with a forward slash UL. And inside it, I have many list items that have the link inside. Here's the first link with a list item. And here's a link started by the A, uh, the anchor tag. Link 1, link 2, link 3. I'm going to save this. And let's see how it looks like with Safari without any styles. So as you can see, there's my heading first navigation. And then I have link 1, link 2, link 3 vertically positioned. Now... I want to make it horizontal. What do I do now? So let's look at where our anchor is resting. Our anchor is resting inside the UL and inside the LI. So I'm going to target it in CSS using the UL attribute and then also I'm going to do LI. This basically tells CSS when the HTML document is reading it is that this style applies to the, the list item that's inside this unordered list. So what I'm going to do is use a very nifty command. It's called display inline. And once I use this, let's see what our output is. As you can see, the links went from vertical to horizontal. Link 1, link 2, link 3. Now that is very basic and straightforward, and there's, there's nothing too fancy about it just by using one. But sometimes it could happen that you'll have some background images that you need in the anchor, or you or you need to put uh, a bigger text, a bigger border, etc, etc, and sometimes inline might not work. There's an alternative method of creating uh, horizontal anchors by using block. So what basically, uh, the theory behind this is that it basically converts your list items into blocks and you just want to float them to the left. So I know I'm probably talking science here, but let's take it a little bit slow and I'm just going to put in the code right here. So first I want to give some settings to my unordered list. I want to give it a width of 500 pixels and I want to convert it into a block. Display block. So now this is basically telling the unordered list where my anchors are to convert it to a block which is 500 pixels wide. So in my list item where my anchors are, I'm also going to convert this into a block. Let's see what happens now. As you can see, I've made it into a block item, but now they're vertical. To make it horizontal, we have to give it, have to give the list item some dimensions and also have to float it. So let's give a width of 100 pixels and float each box or each list item to the left. Let's see what happens now. As you can see, the width now is 100 pixels and they're each floating to the left inside the unordered list, which is 500 pixels wide. So basically, this is taking your block elements, which is your list item, and just floats it to the left, and it keeps adding and adding on until you reach the 500 pixel limit. After that, it'll drop down, because that's all the limit that you've provided it. So this is very beneficial if you have a background in your anchor, or your list item has a completely different action that you're putting to it. And this way, you have more control, you can make the width into a... Uh, 50 pixels, you know, and sort of play around with it. Change the background color. Let's make it background is black. And as you can see, each list item is now with the background color black and is placed vertical. It might not be the best looking, but for this example, um, you can see the dynamics of how the navigation change. Uh, I, this is a very simple uh, example of how to make your navigation from vertical to horizontal by using the inline or converting it into a block element and floating it to the left. The only challenge when you float it to the left, in my experience, is you have to be very careful with the measurements. Because if you're not, then your elements will start floating below and go into uh, multiple different lines and start looking a little bit vertical. Uh, but anywho, I'm going to get into a lot more challenging topics in the near to come. I want to take this a one step further uh, next week, and I'm going to use jQuery to show how to make cool effects 
with rollovers and multiple uh, hover menu items if you have drop down tree menus. So for this episode, it's just a simple horizontal navigation uh, using just CSS. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Hassan. Thank you very much.